So for today's activity, we're going to do some collage and abstract painting to basically create an abstract collage. And we're going to look at the work of Rex Ray here, who kind of uses this technique. And some of the things you should notice is his use of color and his use of shapes. And a lot of the shapes, they're, they're organic, they're very curvy. Uh, and we're going to be applying some of those techniques into the work that we create today. You see, I've chosen four colors as well as some black and some white. Uh, when you choose your four, I suggest that you look at the color wheel to create some kind of a color scheme. Okay, so I have four sheets of paper, and you're going to kind of put one color on each sheet. So I'm just going to start with the first one. See, I got my palette here, and I'm just going to say choose orange. And if you wish, you can create some extra values and tones with that, so I'll just get this ready quickly. And you're going to cover this whole page with that color or that tone, and it doesn't have to be perfect or beautiful, and it'll actually probably look better with some textures mixed in with it and some mistakes showing. And we'll have to clean the table after this. If you want to kind of create some of the irregularities with it, you can just add it. And I'm doing this very quick. You should as well. With the black, I would use very, very, very sparingly. And I do have another brush if I need to lighten that up a bit. This is not the final work of art so don't worry about spending too much time with it and the first page just couldn't be something like that and I'm going to do the same with uh, the other colors feel free to also add shapes if you wish patterns but you won't have time to make them very detailed just kind of do it quickly and this is just a exploration activity so it doesn't have to to be perfect now I need to tidy up my area let my four papers dry and then we'll come back Okay, so after looking at some of Rex Ray's work, what we're going to have to decide is which one of these four papers is going to be our background piece. So I'm going to go with the orange. So this one I'm not going to cut, but with these other three, I'm going to cut out shapes and patterns. And if you can, or if you wish, you can also trade some, perhaps with some of your peers. So let's see what I can come up with. And I'm just going to do this quickly, but you should maybe take a bit more care than me. So I'm going to start cutting and just place them on top to kind of create an arrangement. What I'm looking for is balance, uh, harmony, and creating some uh, visual interest in my work. You could even keep the pieces that you think could be discarded and incorporate them into your work. So perhaps with some overlapping and stuff, you could get some interesting effects as well. You should use the PVA glue. I'm just going to use this glue just so the video is not super long. And it's just something simple like that, just to get you exploring the possibilities. So you see I have a lot of paper left over. So if you have time or you want to create a second one or trade these with your friends, that's completely fine. 